Hey everybody, I've got some grizzles and gripes with Philips Hue, which otherwise is pretty good. Um, I'm, I'm happy with its operation, I'm happy with the quality of light, and this is some of the most important things. I'm happy with Hue Labs and the presence detectors, they're pretty good. You can just sort of magnetise them to the, if you've got um, metal corner pieces on your plasterboard walls, for example, you can actually just magnetise the presence detectors onto those and uh, just move them around at will, which is kind of cool. I quite like that, um, which is what I've done in uh, the bathrooms for presence detection in the bathrooms. And Hue Labs is also quite cool in that it allows you to set up different presence detector reactions at different times of the day as well. So in the middle of the night, up until about six in the morning, if you trigger the PIR, just one of the lamps comes on at its minimum dim level setting. So just enough to use the bathroom without absolutely brightening your brightening up so much that it hurts your eyes that sort of thing and then on a scheduler from about sort of 6 a.m uh, onwards it's a much brighter scene which is suitable for showering and that sort of thing um it's pretty cool i'm very happy with it overall but recently there was a change made on the philips hue hub which i'm not particularly happy with uh, because philips hue used to work according to the Zig zigbee standard which is the proper way to do things um, and all of the scenes would be stored within each device. So if you programmed up a scene, a Zigbee scene for the lights, then each of the lights would be told that scene five, your dim level and your color temperature or your color is this. And then the switches would be programmed to send a Zigbee scene code out. And then you wouldn't need any third party devices to be in the way the lights would work regardless. Now recently they moved the scenes onto the hub. Now I thought that they just put a master scene on the hub. However, that doesn't appear to be what's happened. What they've done is they've literally moved the scenes onto the hub. Now this switch is programmed to cycle through different scenes on each press. However, Whereas instead of it cycling through scene one, scene two, scene three, and sending Zigbee scene commands, I'm assuming I haven't monitored the Zigbee bus, but either the lamps are programmed to ignore Zigbee scenes and then the hub responds to the Zigbee scene commands and then communicates directly with the lamps, or this sends direct transport commands. This little uh, switch sends Zigbee some kind of um, engineering command to the hub and then the hub sends uh, various different commands out the lamps or a scene command. I'm not sure how it works. It probably doesn't work that way. But what I'm not happy with is the fact that if the Hue Hub fails now, then the lights stop working. So now the other thing that annoys me is the fact that they've only just come out with a UK shaped light switch solution, but we'll go there later. But let's turn the lights on. So I've got my various different scenes. I don't know if you can see. I'll put that there. As I cycle through the various different scenes, sorry, it's daylight. You can see all the different scenes. There's a color scene there. Uh, so that's my normal warm light scene. So, and then we've got dimming up and dimming down. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna get the room a little bit darker. Hold on a second. So, we now have a darker room. So, let's get a nice bright scene. Dim down, clearly working. So I'm gonna dim right up to the maximum, just because I wanna test it and see. Okay, so now that's as bright as they go. So, my Hue Hub is over here. It's right here. So, Let's unplug it. Power, gone. Let's go and look at my light switches now. How are they doing? Which functions still work? Oh, I can't turn the lights on anymore. If these lights were off, that would be that. And if that was my Hue broken, my Hue hub broken, I'd need to buy a new hub and reprogram everything. Not good. Now, it's not the end of the world, but certainly not something you want to do under duress because the lights aren't coming on. And bear in mind, 
that I can't access this circuit anymore because I've stuck these over the top of that intentionally because I don't want anyone to turn the circuit off. So, can we turn the lights off? No. Off command doesn't work. Does the dim command work? This should be just Zigbee straight to the lamps. Nothing. I have completely lost control of all transport control because the hub is no longer powered. That's not how Zigbee's supposed to work. Naughty, naughty Phillips. If I wasn't so excited about Hue Entertainment in my lounge, I would be dumping that hub. I really would.